Hello Springville High School. Welcome to the first installment of The Jungle, our school's news program. Get out your favorite outfit because school pictures are September 19th. You will be called first period to have your pictures made. Be sure to smile. And now that school is in full swing, we had one of our field reporters, Rachel, go out and talk to this year's freshmen to ask them how they enjoyed Springville High School so far. This year, there were 176 freshmen that registered to Springville High School of August 9th, 2017. My favorite teacher is Miss Weston because she's super chill and she like loves everybody. They were scared and a little nervous as they moved from one building to another, but even though it took them some time, they are finally getting adjusted to their schedules, classes, homework, and surroundings. The freshmen here at SHS have more freedom than at the middle school. I'm pretty sure that they like that. We get say-so in what happens and we're not constantly being put in lines and our hands being held when we don't need it. I believe that most of our freshmen enjoy the choice to have electives and learn different skills in these classes. It gives them more time to themselves and it gives them the chance to learn different skills. I really enjoy having electives. It's really cool to be able to choose what you're going to do in your own high school career and I personally love my elective. We have many different electives that freshmen are allowed to choose from, including Spanish, journalism, photography, agriculture, recreational sports, marching band, musical appreciation with Mr. Wallace, and many more. My advice to the freshmen would be to make sure that you get involved in clubs and extracurricular activities because it looks good on college applications and you get to wear those cool cords at graduation. Although the freshmen here at SHS are worried about their grades, passing their classes, and their future, the upperclassmen gave them some very good advice. This is Rachel signing off from the jungle. Thank you, Rachel, for that perspective on the new freshman class. Even though the school year has just begun, we all need to know how to keep decent grades. Caitlin talked to some students about how they make their grades. For many high school students, especially new freshmen, high school courses are challenging and juggling the new social and academic demands can be overwhelming. But we know it's possible because students have been doing it for years. I decided to ask some of Springville's more seasoned students a few questions on how they've made it this far. My personal key su success would be organization and staying focused. I think just realizing the significance of subjects is probably the most important thing to learning to enjoy them and use them properly. Also, I know we've all heard about being organized, but how important is organization to being successful and why? I will say, personally, it's not for me. I'm horribly unorganized. But I think if, you, um, if you're the type of person who does like uh, forget things very easily, you know, it's not like it's a bad thing. Lots of people are just kind of forgetful. Um, it's very important to like keep a calendar and stuff, keep all your notes in one place. Well, I personally can't function without having a plan, so whenever I get an assignment, I immediately write it down and when it needs to be done, and I have everything laid out in my binders so that like, when I, write, when I write it down, I know exactly where it is. Many times, people struggle remembering information for tests, so I asked these students their study habits and strategies. For me, my best study technique is flashcards or Quizlet. I think the best way to study is really just to drill down and go at it again and again and again. Um, I really like Quizlet. Um, if I can get a friend to make a Quizlet for me, it's like the best thing someone can do for me. After these interviews, I chose to investigate another perspective. Rather than asking students, I questioned the teacher. I would have to say the key to being a successful student is to stay organized. Stay on top of what's going on in class. Be sure that if you're going to be out, to make sure that you let the teacher know and communicate with the teacher. Making the grade is all about persistence and organization. If you stay on top of your coursework, high school should be a breeze. This is Caitlin, reporting from the jungle. I'm sure all of us can take some great studying tips out of that story. But if you want to escape the drab reality of high school and enter a world of singing, dancing, and cheesy lines and an extremely unrealistic depiction of high school life, you can find what you've been looking for in this year's English department field trip. On Friday, April 13th, the English teachers will be starting something new and taking a select group of this year's students to view the beloved high school musical at Gaston State Community College. 
We're all in this together, so any student from any grade is eligible to attend as long as you meet the requirements listed on the permission slip. The trip will last from about 8 o'clock until 2 o'clock, and the cost is $15. You will also need to bring around $10 for lunch at the Gaston Mall. As you can imagine, many people are interested in this field trip, and space is limited. Get your head in the game and talk to your English teacher today about receiving a permission slip and get your money turned in to bop to the top of the waiting list. You don't want to miss this chance to break free from the status quo of a boring school day and watch one of our beloved generation's most iconic decoms as it is transformed into a play. Now we have Brooke and Trey with the sports. Thanks, Sydney. Now, Brooke, how's the volleyball team doing this season? Well, I have some footage from the games. Let's check it out. <laughs> Varsity and Junior Varsity played at the Albertville Tournament September 2nd. Junior Varsity won against Eider and Fife. Now that we've seen some volleyball, why don't you tell us how the football season started out? Well, let's take a look. Here we have Ross Stanford kicking off the season for the Tigers. For the first quarter, Springville had every answer to Moody's offense. Grant Brown breaks the tackle and fights for the first down. Kayla Busey with a stellar punt. Followed up by Nathan Harbuck with a smackdown hit. The Devils eventually break through the Tigers defense for the only touchdown of the first half. Moody's muffed punt set Springville up in the red zone early in the third quarter. A few plays later, Austin Hutchison bulldozes his way in for the touchdown. Jordan McClellan sheds the block and causes a fumble which Moody recovered. One last surge of offense came from Jacob Bickerstaff on a return late in the game. But the Devils were too much for the Tigers in a 23-7 loss. The volleyball team plays at home on the 7th and 11th, so come out and support your team. And the football team is at Warmer Jordan this Friday. It would be great if all of you would come out and support the Tigers. Thanks, Brooke and Trey. And thank you all for tuning in for our first broadcast of The Jungle. We look forward to many more, so see you next time.